Well, um, before we uh, open the event, let's remember all those lives uh, missing and lost on March 11 last year by the deadly disaster tsunami and earthquake 9.0. Let's give a minute of silence and mourn. So please stand up. このイベントを始める前にマグニチュード 9.0 の地震と津波とで失われた皆様に哀悼の意を表したく思いますしばし目を閉じ神戸を垂れて黙祷を捧げましょう黙祷Okay, uh, please open your eyes. Thank you very much. Please sit down. It's okay. So I'm Dilip Bikasunar, and I'm from Nepal. I've been living in Japan for seven years now. For the past years, with the help of citizens of Sapporo and Japan, I have been able to save lives of hundreds of destitute children of Nepal. Those living on streets, working at child labor, those involved in war and traffic to cross borders. I am Nepalese Dilip B. K. Shunar. I have been living in Japan for seven years. I have been able to save the lives of hundreds of children of Nepal. I have been able to save the lives of hundreds of children of Nepal. I have been able to save the lives of hundreds of children of Nepal. また他国への人身売買の対象となったたくさんの貧しいネパールの子どもたちを救うことができました Since March 11, on the behalf of my organization, I kept thinking what role we can play in the reconstruction of Japan. As it's not only about taking, we also want to give. But what can we really? The country itself filled with poverty and social issues. 昨年の3月11日から、私は NGO の代表として日本の復興のために何ができるだろうどんな役割を担うことができるだろうかと考え続けてきました考えるだけでなく私たちは何か行動を起こそうとしましたが私たちの国ネパールは貧困そして厳しい社会状況という問題を抱えてもおりました The mission of TED, Ideas Worth Spreading, made a deeper impact to me since then. As it is designed to give individuals and communities to make open dialogues at global level. Nearly a year after the double whammy disaster, we all are concerned about reconstruction and change. We have ideas and stories to tell and say thanks to the friends around the world. Thanks, Ted, for providing me this opportunity to create, a, to create an event that the world loves it. And I would also like to introduce your city. For the first time in Hokkaido Prefecture, with the mission of globalizing, to bring ideas and stories together and sharing it globally. TED の価値あるアイデアを広めるという目的は、個人や地域社会に世界規模での意見交換のチャンスを与えることができるという点で、私に強い衝撃を与えました。あの凄まじい災害からほぼ1年が経ち、私たちは変革や再生の時を迎えています。私たちは今や世界中に語るべき考えや経験を持ち、また世界の友人たちに感謝の意を表する時が訪れました。私にこのような素晴らしい機会をもたらしてくれた程度に感謝します。そして私は皆様の町に、北海道、そして札幌市初の世界規模で意見や経験を発信し、共有できる機会をご紹介したいと思います。I'm grateful to the Nippon Foundation. Sapporo International Plaza Foundation, Sapporo City for the support, and also all in kind partners for additional support from marketing to sharing and for those to make this event happen. I would also like to thank all the speakers today for working hard and challenging themselves to speak at the global level, volunteers and organizations for your contribution and time, and most of it, 
all of you for attending this event and giving me a hope of future TEDx events in Sapporo City. このイベントの開催にさまざまな角度からご支援いただいた日本財団、札幌国際プラザ、札幌市、その他の皆様に御礼申し上げます。また、世界に向けてご自身の意見を発信するためにたくさんの努力をされた発表者の皆様方、ボランティア、ご支援いただいた組織、そして何より札幌でのテドエックスイベントの未来に希望を抱かせてくださったご来場の皆様に感謝いたします。Thank you and please keep in touch. Thank you.